Hi, I'm Jared. Hi, I'm Mark. And we're from the Broken Seal. Today, we're going to be playing Champions, the Rook City expansion. And today, we're playing Sentinels of the Universe, nope, Sentinels of the Multiverse, Rook City Renegades. Uh, I'm going to be Expatriate and Setback. I'm going to be Mr. Fixer and Night Mist. Once we, once we know this more, whoever, one of us has to at least play with um, Mr. Fixer's alternate outfit. Yep. Black Power or something. <laughs> I don't remember what he was. <laughs> Before we begin, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check down below for ways that you can support us on Patreon or YouTube memberships. And we're going to get started. Um, so, Kismet's going to go first. Kismet, what yeah. do you do? Uh, after an unlucky card is destroyed, so that one doesn't hurt. Start phase. If there are uh, four or more unlucky cards in play, flip. Otherwise, discover two unlucky cards. So... That's a lucky card. Lucky. Unlucky. Unlucky. There we go. Technically, yeah, can you shuffle this? <laughs> yeah. So the first one was Karmic Disjunction. Play this card in the play area with the hero with the lowest health. So I 26. have 26. 20, okay, so that one goes to you. Okay. Play this card in the play area of the hero with the most cards in their trash. So we can just pick. I'm going to, I'll give it to Expatriate. Okay. Uh, after this hero plays a card, each target in this play area deals itself one fixed psychic damage. One psychic damage? Yeah. You want to so give that to she just takes 29. It. Or I can give it to setback. He has 30. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, okay. That was her thing. And then... Minus X damage to Kismet, where X is the number of unlucky cards in play. So right now two. she has minus two damage. And then end phase, reveal the top card of the villain deck. Oh, we didn't do the play phase. So start phase, that happened. Play okay. phase. Uh, unlucky break. One shot. Lucky. Discover H minus one. So three unlucky cards. Each hero target. Isn't that play. one? Well, so H is three. I thought H is the... I'm sorry, four. H is four. The number of heroes in play. I was thinking two. Okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> We're people. Yeah. Um... So we need to find three unlucky cards. Each hero target in a play area with any unlucky cards deals themselves two fixed psychic damage. And then destroy one uh, environment card, which there are none. So first, deals us two. Actually, we would discover them first on the off chance that... They would attach yeah. to anyone else? Okay. So we get three unlucky cards. Lucky. Lucky. Unlucky. Lucky. Unlucky. Lucky. Unlucky. All right. So, from left to right, play this card in the play area of the hero with the most cards in play. So these two are tied. Yeah. So, do you want to take them since you're 30 again? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Next is, uh, play this card in the play area of the hero with the most cards in hand. After the hero draws a card, each target in the play area deals its uh, one fixed psychic damage. So, I guess let's give it to Mr. Fixer. Okay. For right now. And then the same. Oh, yeah, I'll give it to her. Okay. Then, oh, nope, either way. Yeah, I did it right. Then, uh, with any unlucky cards, deals themselves two fixed psychic damage, so everyone takes two damage, and then destroy one environment card. Does he take four since he has two? No, it's just, it's just straight. Okay. Two damage. Um, here we go. All right. Yeah, usually you start off getting hit. <laughs> yeah. Because the villain's like prepared for you to show up or something. You want it up top? I'm just putting mine there. You don't definitely have to. We'll keep it. Keep it same, same. Yeah. All right. So Kismet has finished destroying us. Now we're going to go to Expatriate. Uh, after this hero draws a card, each target in the play area deals itself one. So the way we get rid of these, you see how they have tags ongoing. Mm -hmm. There are cards that we might have. I don't. I've never played with these. There are cards we might have that let you destroy ongoing cards. Okay. So outside of that, that's we're we're stuck with. Them. Okay. So we have the start phase. Nothing happening right now. Play phase. I can play one card from my hand. Okay. Oh, so I can use this, even though. She gave it to me. The end phase, destroy one 
hero. Oh, one hero ongoing. Yeah. So yes, you can. But it would destroy so mine. To. Yeah. Yeah. So it has to happen after at the end right. phase. On my end phase or her end phase? Your at end my phase. end phase. Yeah. Okay. That sucks. It does. Yeah, that's the only like. There's a lot on there sometimes. All right, I'm gonna play Arsenal Access. It's a one shot, which means you play it and then it's gone. Discover one gun card and one ammo card, and then draw one card. So, no. And since those first two aren't drawing, I don't take damage. But after this, I'm gonna have to draw a card, which makes me take one damage. This gets discarded, and I may play one item card. All right, I'm going to put in Pride and Prejudice, okay. which is my item gun limited, and it has a power. I may activate the loaded effect on one ammo card in play. Expatriate deals one target, two, damage projecti uh, two projectile damage. Destroy the activated ammo card. You may activate load it on one ammo card and play expatriate. So I can do it twice, basically. Okay. Um, I just noticed that since we switched to your symbol matches hers. Yes. Okay. So, so it'll, it'll matter. One, one and one. It'll Yeah, but it only matters for cards that have the actual symbol on there. So like if she directly deals damage, then I take one extra. Okay. And if I directly, like if I get minions, they don't do more damage. Okay. And her minions don't do more damage to me. Um, so that was my play phase. Power phase, I'm going to use her power. Expatriate deals one target, two projectile damage. I may play one item card. So I'll deal. Oh, we can shoot the relic. And that's seven health. Oh, let's fuck that thing up. Yeah, I'm going to shoot the relic. So I deal two damage. That's what those little ones are for. <laughs> um, then I may play one item card. I'm going to play my assault rifle then uh, draw phase draw one card take one damage end phase which means I move over now setback nothing happening in the start of phase this power is a great top part of my guy ouch Ouch, I don't want to say ooch. Ooch, ooch, ooch. Uh oh. Oh, cool. So I'm going to play Chain Reaction. Uh, it would say, it says destroy one environment card. There's no environment cards in play, so it doesn't happen. But then destroy up to three unlucky cards. Each time you do, either destroy one ongoing card or bury one target. So I'm going to destroy one, two, three nice and then because i destroyed three i get to destroy one ongoing card or bury one target so i'm going to destroy one ongoing card one ongoing card and then i could bury a target i guess i could bury that place the indicated card on the bottom of the associated deck that so yeah i'm gonna bury that cool out. oh yeah and target isn't capitalized, so I don't think that's like a card that specifically is a card I can use. So so that's what like there are synergies in this shit. Yeah. So like that's his turn. That's his play. Um power phase, play the top card of my deck. So this is an ongoing unlucky. <laughs> Fuck. After this card is played, setback deals himself and up to three targets, two fire damage each. But do you have, have to, to play yeah, it? Yeah, oh, I have okay. to. Because of his power. Ah, I could have chose to not use his power, yeah. but so, I deal myself two damage. Everyone has to take it. Oh, okay. How many? Two damage. Two. Because it says me and then up to three targets. So, I could have done other people, but... No Can you do here. him? Oh, yeah. Her? So, hold on. Let's see what it... So, she's at 24. 24. I feel like he should take it still. Okay. So, then... Yeah. She'll take the two, okay. which now becomes three. Did she did she get damage dealt? No. Okay, so then she has to take a two. So she's at 22 now. 
because there's three targets, right? So one, two, or one, one. Him one, and up to three, yeah. One, two, three. Three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Which, what's her health at? 22 now. Okay, well, they were tied, so yeah. I guess it's the same. Um, that, so that's his power phase. <laughs> it screwed me. Draw phase and end phase. So now okay. you're up. So if you're needing help, let me know. Okay. What's the style card? Collect one style card. Is that like the name of his yeah. deck? Okay. A lot of them, if it's like, like for instance, I have ammo and gun cards. Mm -hmm. Those are just your specific things. And then this says tool card. Yep. Is Same that thing. this as well? Yep. Because there, there are cards, the, the keywords say tool or style. You know, oh, you may collect. So I just look through. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to play. So start phase, nothing happens, right? And then play phase. I'm going to play overdrive. Uh, it's an ongoing. Um, whenever Mr. Fox deals damage, you may choose the type of damage. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then his end phase is pretty cool too. I can use his power twice. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's my start phase. Then my play phase. That was my play phase, right? Yeah, your play phase. Okay. Now, power phase. Power phase. So I'm going to use his power. Deal one target two melee damage. Um, so I'm going to kick her twice in the face. Okay. Now, I also noticed it's if you use it more than once, it destroys. Yep. So, like, you could use it one time, twice, and then that's it. Yeah. Um, and then I will draw a tool card, I said. Yeah, I collect guess. one tool yeah. card. So, basically, okay. you're going to keep... Keep going until I see a tool? Search your deck, so you can just look through it. So, this obviously becomes better once you know the deck. Yeah. Because then it's like, oh, I need, I'm need. i looking for this specific what, tool. Uh, where does it say tool on it? It's say here. So, it's ongoing limited time if that's what it was. Okay. Or it might just say just tool. Okay, tool yeah. item. Okay. So that was my play, my power phase, now my draw phase, now the end phase. You may use the power on your character card up to two times. If you do so, at least once, destroy this card. So I would hold on to that. Okay. Because there might be times when they have a bunch of like minions out. That's okay. when you want to kill them. Okay. Then Night Mist goes, and Night Mist. She has no start phase. No start phase. I like that I'm going to have to use more of his cards to now get rid of his unlucky cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to play um, Tendril of Talantus. So this symbol, I'm assuming it's that symbol. Mm -hmm. And then it's probably like uh, however many of those symbols I have out. Is right, because there are probably things that you can like charge it up. Okay. But so for right now, it's just a one it's, shot. It's yeah. two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, this card is discard the top card of your deck. Nightmare, or sorry, Night Mist deals one target um, this many infernal damage, um, and Night Mist may deal herself that many infernal damage if Night Mist takes damage this way. Play the top card of your trash. Oh, so you have to trash uh, discard one first. So I have to do that? Yeah. Oh, because it's a sp it's not. I thought it was an ongoing. My bad. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay, that's why he has so much health. I can redirect damage. Oh, nice. And I can also heal. <laughs> okay. And instead, I'm going to play File of Exomna. Um, this is a, it's a limited relic. It's not an ongoing mark. Right? You can still play it. But it just, the it would just go. Out. Oh, the items yeah. do? Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's oh. just they, they have different um, names. Okay. Um, so when this card is destroyed, play the top card of your deck. And then the power of that card is you may uh, draw. X amount of cards, uh, Night Mist may regain X amount of heads, um, X amount of HP. If you do both, destroy this card. So I can do one or the other, yeah, like and it would people. be fine, right? Yeah. So, cool. Yeah. So when it first comes out, you do the top part, right? No, when this card is destroyed. Oh, okay. Play the top card. All right, so now your power phase. Um, now my power phase. Draw one. So now since you have it, you can only do one power. So oh, either her power okay. or that power. I think I'm going to have her regain two okay. points. And what's it, if you do both of the If things? I do both, okay. then it gets destroyed. All right. So I like that you can, at least you can heal yourself because healing yeah. obviously is important. And then draw. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then end phase. 
And then end phase, nothing. All right. Then we move to the environment. Start phase, nothing's in play. Play phase. Uh, we have the Karanchu, the groundskeeper, Kappa. So like that's like the kind of monster it is. Uh, it has 13 health, and after this card is played, discover one relic card, playing, playing it on the hero with the fewest cards. Well, I guess it's from the cover, yeah. Which is great. With the fewest cards? Yeah. With the, in the play area with the fewest cards. So it's one of these three, actually, because she has two. Okay. Um, And the end phase, each hero may discard any number of cards. If four cards are discarded this way, move an environment relic card from one play area to another. So basically, if we pay four, we can move this relic from here to there. Okay. So it affects her. So this one, it'll go to one of these three. Whenever an ongoing card in this play area would be destroyed, prevent that destruction and put one token on this card. When this card is destroyed, bury one hero ongoing card, one villain ongoing card, and one environment ongoing card. End phase, if there are two more tokens on the card, destroy this card. So this is actually helpful. Yeah, until it gets destroyed and mm -hmm. this kind of sucks, but... We could give it the setback. I feel like he's going to be taking the most yeah. damage, right? And I don't know how many ongoing cards he has. Okay. So, I guess who would you want to know for those two? I think him is good. Oh, so that, I, yeah, well, that's true about the ongoing no, no. cards. Yeah, because your tools and abilities. Yeah. I mean, I let me see. I have one, two, three. I have three right now, like, on me. I have two more on me. So. Okay. So, probably me then, because okay. I have four total now. Yep. All right, so I'll pop that there. Um. And then end phase, if we want to, we can discard up to four cards, and then we would be able to move it. I don't want to move it right now. So. No, yeah. All right. Then we get here, back to the start phase. Uh, if there are four or more unlucky cards in play, flip. Otherwise, discover two. There's one. So, yeah. first one, Glass Jaw. Play this card in the play area with the hero character with the highest health. 24, 26. 26. 26. Yes. Um, plus one damage dealt to targets in this play area. And then Shake Yarn. Play this card in the play area with the hero with the most cards in play. Which is technically him. Which yep. He has three now. Uh, minus one damage dealt by targets in play. <laughs> so, those two negate out, right? Minus one damage that he deals, plus one damage that gets dealt to him. Oh. So it just makes him worse. <laughs> uh, so that was start phase. Play phase. Uh, oh, I should have shuffled. It's, is it discover? What is it? It's discover, yeah. So isn't that just take from the top of your deck? Where's my... Oh, here. But you, yeah, you until... So, like, you didn't see what you just drew. You just should have shuffled back in the ones that you oh, yeah, didn't yeah. draw. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the two, yeah. Actually, if you could shuffle that, it'll be quicker. Uh, lucky. After a lucky card is played, Kismet regains two health points. After an unlucky card is played, one hero discards one card. This is an ongoing card. So, like, the way it matters is that, like, we can't attack that. Yeah. We have to get a way to destroy an ongoing card, okay. which I apparently do have, but most of us should have some kind of thing. Um, And then end phase. This is what I meant about the upkeep. <laughs> Reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a lucky card, play it. If not, bury it. Then Kismet deals each target in play area with the most unlucky cards to energy damage. So it is a lucky card. If it's a lucky card, play Oh, you know what? I don't know. If it, there's a luck, I was trying to figure out how she flipped. Um, if it's a lucky card, play it. If not, bury it. Then. You think the then part happens regardless? Yeah, because there's a period. So this one is shared fate. After Kismet is dealt damage by a non-villain target, Kismet deals the same amount of fixed energy damage to the hero target with the highest health. And then start phase, the hero target with the highest health may deal themselves three fixed psychic damage. If they take damage this way, destroy this card. Alright, so everyone who has unlucky cards, which is just them, takes two damage. Okay. One, two, which also means he takes an extra one because of this card. Yeah. And... That's it. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Expatriate. Start phase. Nothing. Uh, play phase. So 
So I have, so it's good to like talk about things we could do. I have an ability to have one hero draw one card or put one card from their hand or trash on top of the deck. A second hero can use one power. A third hero may play one card. So like I can make it so we can do a lot. So that's that's cool. I also have ammo. Destroy one ongoing or environment card, which reduces up to three targets, two fire damage each. It's not targets yet, so I don't want to use that. One gun card. Okay, so I'm going to put this in as reaction. Or an ongoing, but it's a reaction now. Um, if I'm attacked, Expatriate deals the attacker two projectile damage, and then I draw one card. Ah, oh, I should have. Put the ammo card up. Alright, whatever. That's it. Um, so my power is just going to be deal one target, two projectile damage, and then I'm going to play one item card. After Kismet is dealt damage by a non boon target, Kismet deals the same amount of fixed damage to the hero target with the highest health. I'm not going to activate a power. Because it would just destroy us. So I'm going to skip that. Then draw phase. Because I still played a power uh, a card, I don't get the double card. I have to skip both the play and the power phase with you. Get two cards on the draw phase. Oh, gotcha. Okay. And then end phase. That's, she's done. Then over here, start phase. Setback deals each target one fixed fire damage. I think target is everybody. Oh, you know what? I could have... Hold on. I'm going to deal this to projectile damage. I forgot that that was in play. Um, what does that one do again? This is so much... Yeah. <laughs> so much shit. This one, um, after this card is played, we got this. Yeah. And then at the end phase, we can discard cards to move... Oh, that's right. From here to that's here. right. Okay. So I figured just kill it. So then... It's less things that we have up. Um, it's setback. Target any card with help. Okay. So we all take one damage? Including that turtle. Which I have, I have little health things over here. And then she takes one, right? Yeah. And then more mine. Which means he takes two because of that thing he has. Oh, but he does one less damage to everybody. And this player. Uh, oh, yeah. So he doesn't do any so no damage. One, yeah, no one yeah. Did damage. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Rewind. Yep. Zip. Which is good, because she would have dealt damage if she had taken damage. All right. We're back in play. Okay. Um, So now play area, or play phase. Um, which one's discover again? Reveal cards from top of your deck. Reveal the indicated cards, shuffle the other cards, and play the cards in order to reveal. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm going to use turn of events. Each hero target regains two health. Nice. And then uh, destroy up to three unlucky cards. Each time you do, a different hero may use a power. So, destroy, destroy, destroy. So, three powers. So each each of us can use one power except for something. Okay. D we one. don't want her to take damage yet, right? No, because because that's all his yeah. power. But okay. we can hit him. Okay, I'll hit him for two. Okay. Then her power is to discard one card, then either draw two cards or play a spell. She... But doesn't she have something if someone uses a power? After a lucky card is played, Kismet gains two health. After an Maybe unlucky not. card is played, one hero discards one health. That should be good. Put... I'm losing my mind. Okay, I'm not going to. I'm not going to use her power. So if okay. he wants to use his power. Oh yeah. Mm, well, I don't want to do it because then it'll just be a random. Yeah. Okay. And I've now realized it could fuck us. Uh, I'm going to use her power, though. Expatriate deals one target, two projectile damage. I'm going to play one. I, so, two damage to this dude. And I did that before, and I didn't do an item play the first time I activated it last time. Oh, no, I, I don't know. I'm just going to do one now. That way I don't. Mess up there we go. Um, all right, and then that's setback, so. Okay. Go to, oh, wait, end phase. Okay, that is a trigger. Okay. Now, my turn, right? Mm -hmm. Any start phase, but you don't have start phase. No. Nope. Um, if there's a card that says limited, you can only have one of those cards out. 
So like you can't have two two limiteds. Doesn't two matter overdrives. what they are. Oh, just two yeah. overdrives. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. Do you have any tools in play? Tools. No. Okay. I'm gonna play um, dual crossbow or crowbar. That's that's how you read. <laughs> crossbow. Um, after this card is played, destroy all other tool cards. Then Mister Fixer deals up to two damage, two targets, one melee damage each. Um, and then I have plus one damage and minus one damage to Mr. Fixer. Okay. So I guess I'll do... Well, no one, tools get destroyed, right? One damage. No, no tools destroyed. Oh, okay. But he still deals damage. Yep. Then yep. Mr. Yeah, because it's the period. Then Mr. Yeah. Fixer does. So he that one gets one damage. The punctuations and shit do matter. Yeah. Which is another upkeep part. <laughs> and it says up to two targets. So I yeah, don't, so have, don't to have to attack her. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, cool. So he's out. Um, so that was my... Play. play now my power you could i guess i turtle. could yeah I'll, I'll hit the turtle uh so yeah. for two one two three four five six seven so one two three get those off give her five and then seven okay and then uh, draw phase. Draw phase. I should phase. only have four, right? Yeah. Okay, I think I drew too many last time because I would have five if I drew. Oh, well, some cards make you draw. But I don't think I did anything to make me draw. I think I just fucked up. Yeah, yeah. it happens. Okay, so start now... Um, and I don't want to use this power. So start phase, nothing with her. Um, then play phase. I haven't seen any of these suddenly cards yet. Ooh. I'm going to play a relic, um, Tome of Elder Magic. So the power is Night Mist deals herself one infernal damage, either collect or play one spell card. And then uh, draw phase, you may draw one additional card this phase. Nice. Which does take effect this phase. Nice. Hell yeah. Um, okay. And then power phase. You got three now to pick from. I do. For flavor, they have text that they wrote either from the hero or from like their companions or their like their perspective that's mm-hmm. cool okay i'm gonna do that power to draw two um but not heal because then that would if yeah both, yeah i was just heal. seeing if i could heal anybody else if it was just me but it's regain okay um that was the power phase and the draw phase i draw two and then <coughs> She's done. All right. Sometimes you do have to play cards that literally you're just like, I have to set up for next time. Yeah. Because I have two like that. So I'm just letting you know in case I do something that seems like nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now we have, there's no uh, start phase on here. So we just go to the next one. One shot. It's the maddening layout. Discover one ongoing card. Discover one relic card. Play it in the villain play area. So discover one ongoing. And then discover one relic in the play area. Why are we fighting Kismet in this creepy mansion? It's like we're Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doo. I like that other part of it where it's like, oh, fuck. Where was the ongoing card? <laughs> I don't know. I must have shuffled it back. In. No. no. I'll find out what it looks like. What is this thing? The Arcanum is over here. I'm just going to leave those there. I don't know what they do. Um, so, this one goes out. After this card is played, each target deals itself one fixed psychic damage and one fixed radiant damage. So everyone takes one. Which means her thing triggers. Okay. And then that triggers Kismet deals the same amount of fixed energy damage to the hero target with the highest health. I think that's you again. I'm at 24. Oh, 25. Okay, so one damage. How much? One? Yep. Okay. Um, and then end phase. One hero may discard two cards. If they do, they may either salvage one card or destroy one environment relic card. So the start phase, if there are no targets in this play area with five or fewer health, which she still counted, 
Oh no, targets in this play area. Yeah, she's the play area. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, move this card to the play area with the target with the lowest health. End phase. Each target in this play area deals itself two fixed psychic damage. Oof. Then move this card to the play area with the target with the lowest health effects. So, 24. This might be worth it. One hero may discard two cards. If they do, they may either salvage one card or destroy one environment relic card. Is that environment relic? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to destroy two cards. Okay. Because he has a lot of stuff. Here, let me... Because I drew like a million cards. and I'm gonna What has to be more. one hero? Unless you have... No, I'm saying I, I'll get, be able okay. to draw more if you don't want to okay. get rid of yours. That works. So, you can get rid of your two. I'll take these two back. And then you go to the hero. I mean, the villain. So she has two lucky. We have no on unlucky cards in play. All right. Oh, and you know what? We haven't been doing this. After an unlucky card is destroyed, the non-villain target with the highest HP deals itself two fixed psychic like damage. He destroyed a lot of cards. He destroyed three, right? Last round he destroyed three, but then before that he destroyed yeah. like two or something. I'll just spread it out between my people since I missed it. And is this guy still going on? Yeah, they're ongoing. Okay. Because um, they're lucky too, so. Where is her deck? Did I mess up? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, and the, the start phase. The hero target with the highest health may deal with himself three fixed psychic damage if they do destroy this card. The highest health is her now. So um, I'm going to do it just to get yeah. rid of it so we can start... Yeah. Um, Doing damage to her Doing again? Doing actual damage to yeah. her, yeah. All right. Uh, then we have to discover two unlucky cards. Unlucky. Lucky. Lucky. Unlucky. I'm just going to put them on the bottom. Weak heart. Play this card in the play area of the hero target with the fewest cards in hand. Oh, that's her. No, because she, she has five still. Okay, so then it's a tie between the three of us. Yeah. Uh, targets in this play area cannot regain health. He doesn't have a way to heal, so maybe okay. him, right? Yeah, and then I can probably get rid of it at some point. Yeah. Uh, two left feet. Play this card in the play area of the hero with the most cards in play, which is her. Uh, after this hero plays a card, each target in this play area deals up one fixed psychic damage. Oof. Then end phase. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. Oh, she had to play phase. Right? Yeah. Damn, there's so much. <laughs> right? Ongoing lucky. Kismet regains... Uh, or it's a one-shot. Kismet regains three health. Kismet deals each hero target three psychic damage. Play the top card of the villain deck. So, she gains three. Then we each take... three psychic damage. As a reaction, I can deal the attacker two projectile damage and draw one card. Nice. I still have to take damage though. So that's... It's three psychic damage? Damn, it is three. Okay, how much? Sorry. Three damage. Three. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh, and then play the top card of the villain deck, so this comes out. Oh, after a lucky card is played, she regains two health. So okay. she's going to get four now. Because this is another lucky card. Uh, discover three unlucky cards. Each hero target in play area with unlucky cards deals and so two fixed IP damage. Destroy one environment card. Okay. So three unlucky cards. We're getting destroyed. That's what it feels like a lot, but honestly, there is like it's. We're gonna they, come back. They do it on purpose. Oh boy! And then everyone who has so I already took cards, the one for him, two. or the two for him. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, then these come out. We destroy one environment card. Let's just destroy this. Um, weak heart, play the center carrier with the hero with the fewest cards in hand. So five, four, and four. four, four. So put it on him. Okay. Uh, Karmic Disjunction, play this card in the play area with the hero with the lowest health. Nine, 16. Eight, 19 for both here. Alright, so 16 over here, which means and she gets both of these. Damn. Destroy one hero ongoing item card in this E. Alright. And then, the actual end phase of Kismet. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a lucky card, play it. If not, bury it. It's an unlucky card, so bury it. Bury it. Then... Kismet deals each target in play area with the most unlucky cards to energy damage. I think we were all I think we were spreading damage before. I think we were too, yeah. Let's just give ourselves everyone gets two points. Two hit points. That way we just balance it out. <laughs> Don't come on this internet. And then she has the most unlucky cards she yep. sticks to it. Alright. Alright, Jesus Christ. Now start it's phase. our turn. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing over here for the start phase, play phase. All right, I'm gonna play Targeted Explosion. After this hero plays a card, each target in this player deals up one second damage. Um, destroy one ongoing or environment card. I'm gonna destroy this one. Which after an unlucky card is played, one hero discards one card. So we played three. I'm going to destroy this one. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> then Expatriate deals up to three targets, two fire damage each. So, I wish these were people that we could hit. Yeah. So, three damage? Two damage. Two damage? Yeah. Okay. She's at 74. And he has one hit point left. Okay. Um, now my power... Ooh, that scared me. <laughs> Change the damage type to fire. Plus one damage dealt with his power. Damage dealt with his ability to reduce it. Oh, activate loaded. Oh, okay. Activate loaded. So I'll do assault rifle. You may activate loaded on one ammo card in play. Expatriate deals up to three targets to projectile damage each. One hero draws one card, then destroy the activated ammo card. So this one, it's fire damage. So two fire damage plus one damage dealt so it's three fire damage so she goes down to one two three oh and he gets one less damage dealt to him oh yeah because of his thing yeah sorry no um like i said it's a lot to remember um <laughs> bless you. Thank you and then i'll kill this thing off just so we can do it this gets destroyed then one hero draws one card. Is anyone down to like low amounts? Uh, four still. And then she has five. After an unlucky card is destroyed, the non villa target with the highest hit points deals up two fixed type damage. Highest hit points? So 19. This guy. Okay. How many? 19. But no, how many hit points? Oh, two. Two. So he yeah. gets one. Um, oh, no. Is it on. Un... No, it's not. Un Unbundled. Okay. Or unmodified. Fixed. Right. Um, then destroy the activated ammo card, which I did. All right, and then end phase, or draw phase, draw one, end phase, because I have those two, destroy one hero ongoing or item card in this play area. Oh, one ongoing, hero ongoing. Or item card. All right, set back. Did you draw? Oh, but she has five, so she yeah. wouldn't draw. Yeah. Um, nothing happening in the start phase. Targets and player cannot regain health. Okay. Um, I'm going to play cause and effect. Uh, when this card is destroyed, discover one, un uh, one lucky card. And then it's power. I could discover two unlucky cards, which I would have to play. And then I may destroy one hero ongoing card. So I could destroy that if I wanted to. Okay. Um, but I'm going to 
Oh, you want to use his power. Is he how you make it unlucky cards, huh? Fuck it. I'll use his power. We need some. <laughs> it's an unlucky card, but this is actually a good one. Okay. Because I have one of it. Uh, after this card is played, discard up to three cards. Each time you discard one card this way, one target regains two health. So he can't heal himself because of the weak card. He can't heal oh, you himself, can't either. himself either. So, so she's 21 and... She, oh yeah, I'll heal yeah. her. So I'll discard the other one that I have. And I'll discard the other one that I have. And then I'm going to discard this one too. So okay. I'm going to discard all three. Three health? Uh, three? Five, six total. Oh, nice. One, two, three, four. What's her health? Uh, 21. All right, five. Nineteen, twenty-one. No, not twenty-one. All right. Um. So that's stuck there now. Oh, if there are two. I forgot about this thing. When this card is destroyed, uh, when it's whenever an ongoing card in this area will be destroyed, prevent one destruction and put one token. Oh God, this works against me too. That would have been good on that one, though, right? Wait, sorry. It's any ongoing card in this area. So, like, even if I try to destroy the unlucky cards, it would just stop that. Oh, it would destroy it mm -hmm. first? Okay. Well, there's nothing we can do about the past. Nope, I'm sorry, nope. folks. There's a, there's a lot of upkeep in <laughs> yeah. this. So, internet. End phase. Select one ally until the start phase. Redirect any damage that would be dealt to that ally to setback. No one's really dying, so I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um, do you have to? I think you have oh, to. Oh, yeah. Select one ally. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll do expatriate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then he has to drop the floor. Okay. Mr. Fixer, start phase is nothing. Um, play phase, I'm going to play Bloody Knuckles, uh, plus two damage dealt to and by Mr. Fixer. Destroy this card at the start of the next phase. We're, we're messing up. Are we? Hold on. <laughs> we just get the top card. Like, it's not, your hand size isn't four. We start off with four, and then at the draw phase, you just draw one card. So you would have one more card from last time. No, because we've been, I've been doing that. I feel like you had four last time and you didn't draw. Okay. Well, I don't I'm know. Just, I just get one. So we should have five. No, because no, depending have, on yeah, how, depending okay. on your cards. Yeah, I think okay. So I'm gonna play this guy, um, and then we're gonna go to my power phase. Um, I'm gonna use his power to attack her. Okay. Um, so one target, two melee damage, but she takes an additional two, so five melee damage. Okay. Um, then at oh, the... Oh, fuck. Did I deal any damage to her with him? I forgot about the... I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yeah. Um, and then draw phase. End phase. I'm going to use this. Um, I feel like there's no use in saving it, so you may use this. Yeah, I don't think she has any companions. Yeah. Use the power on your character card up to two times. Um, we were doing five damage with each one? So is that ten yep, damage? ten damage. Damn. 56. So we're, we're getting there. One, two, three, four. We have four uh, things in sale. She'll flip. We'll okay. see what our other side is like. Um, so that was him. He's done. Yep. Now her. She is going to... Fuck, I had my turn for her, and then I looked at his mm -hmm. shit, and then, like, it's all out. Okay. Ooh, Lord. Okay, I'm going to play a spell. I cast a spell on you. Now you're mine. So discard top card of your deck. Night Mist deals this many people three infernal damage each. Uh, so she so three people three, three in damage. So no two three four five, seven addition oh. right because that's what let me see that's what that is. Night Mist deals up to. Seven targets, three. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there's only one target, so she does yeah. the three damage on her. Each hero target and play area with any one. Oh, that was a one shot. So three damage. Was that what three it was? damage to her? Yep. What does that mean? Minus. Oh, minus spell? that many yeah. deal. Okay. Okay. Um. That card you played was a one shot. Yeah, it was a okay. one shot. And then I'm going to use my power phase, so discard <coughs> one card um, and either draw two cards or play one spell. I'm going to discard this one to play um, Tendrils of Talendris. So Night Mist deals one target 
two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. Nice. Um, and then Night Mist may deal herself that many infernal damage. If Night Mist takes damage this way, play the top card of your trash. So that would have been good if you were like, if I, like, I'm going to discard boom, boom. this card and then I'm going to do yeah, it. Yeah, I should have thought of that. Which you couldn't but... do. Like, yeah. I thought that's why I originally came out to go charge it. Okay, I'm going to do this one instead. Okay. Now, that means you're going to take seven damage. I think that's good because we got to start. Okay, I just want to make sure. Her down, yeah. All right, so. And then I'm going to take seven damage myself. But then you can play the top card of your discard. And the top card of my discard says, discard the top card of your deck. Knight uh, Miss deals one target that amount of it would damage. include that number, too. Oh, nice. Oh, because I'm playing, playing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh, that's dope. Okay. Okay, so it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage, right? Eight, okay. So you just added five, one from six, that seven, one? Five, six, seven, eight. Yep, just okay. one. And then one target regains that much health. So I'm just going to regain that health from myself. Yeah, because I imagine she's low right now. Although that would be good to combo with setback. If he could heal, it'd be good since he directs damage to me. That's true. For later. Because you probably have more than one card like that. I do, yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. Those, I, those I like her synergy. Right? So this is That's the other fun good. part is like finding out which hero you like and why. Because mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, I hate setback. Yeah. I feel like I can't ever use his abilities because I don't like to gamble. Yeah. But setback was like, I, I thought he might be cool because um, I just played the top card. And then I draw, but then I draw one additional. Mm -hmm. So then. I should have picked alpha done. or something. All right. Anyway, environment. Environment. Uh, relic plus one damage dealt by target in this play area. Start phase each target in this play area gains one health. So this stays here now because it wasn't attached like one of those didn't tell him to do it. So in the start phase, each target there would heal one. End phase, destroy one target in this uh, play area with three or fewer hit points. Then move this card to the play area with the target with the lowest. Oh, that's not fair. That sucks. So who has the lowest health? Um, nineteen. So setback. Nineteen. <laughs> but it's after though. It's the end phase, isn't it? Yeah, that's the end phase. It gets played, and then end phase that triggers. Oh, okay. It would destroy something here, but there's nothing there. There's nothing there, so then here. okay. Um, and then she goes. <laughs> so at least this time this happens. Uh, if there are four or more unlucky cards in play, flip. Which one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So. Uh, if there are ever no unlucky cards in play, discover two unlucky cards, then flip. After an unlucky card is played, Kismet deals the hero target with the highest health, two psychic damage. And then on the end phase, Kismet deals each target in the play area with the most unlucky cards, X damage, irreducible psychic damage, where X is the number of unlucky cards in that area, plus two. Then destroy unlu all unlucky cards in that play area. So that's a lot. Yeah. That was her start phase. Play phase. <laughs> she gets a lucky one shot. Kismet deals each non-villain target two fire damage. Discover one unlucky card. So each of us take two fire damage regardless. Each of us takes two fire you can damage? It. Okay, so this gets one. And two. Okay. Um, yeah. Then discover one unlucky card. If there are no unlucky cards in here, then nothing happens. There's one. Shit. Did, does it get reset? Yeah, it gets played. No, no, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, if they... If well, since out. these were discovering, it's just they go back. Um, play this card in the play area with the hero card with the highest health. Plus one damage dealt to target in this play area. So... 20. 20 19. 19. So, okay. yeah. so then this just cancels out. This. Yeah. Then end phase, she has the most, so she takes one, two, three, plus two, so five damage, which gets redirected to him. Then destroy all unlucky cards in that area. So at least these get destroyed. So he takes five, goes on to 12 health. I need to get rid of this. I actually would have taken more because of this. Two damage dealt to, plus two damage dealt to and by. So every time he got dealt damage, he would damage dealt two. And by Mr. Fix. 
Yeah, I'm gonna dealt two Mr. Fixer and Mr. Fixer yeah. and buy Mr. Yeah. So I guess take two more damage. Yeah. I think that maps out right. I think so too, because it would like lower it by one. Mm -hmm. So and let me make sure there's no after an unlucky card is played, because it feels okay. So that didn't happen. All right. Expatriate. <laughs> Nothing with the start phase. Play phase. This would be. All right, so I'm gonna play one sh um, backup plan. Discover one gun card or discover one ammo card. And discover is that the one we just get to look? Or no, you have to. Okay. Yeah, reveal. So it's gun or ammo. There we go. So I have the modified SMG. Then one hero character may deal one target three melee damage. I was thinking setback could do it because then it'll deal four. Her, okay. Because he's her nemesis. So it goes on to 34. Um, one, a second hero target may regain two. You can't heal. She no. can heal or she can heal. Let's have her heal too. Okay. She can't go above her, her max, but at least someone has hope. And then a third hero target may salvage one item card. Do you have any item cards in your discard? I don't think so. Okay, I do. No item cards, no. So I'm going to get some ammo. Okay. Is it specifically an item card? Yeah. Okay. Because it's, it's really for her, but if we have people who have synergy with it, I could swap, swap it around. Um, a third hero. Okay, so I did that. And then my power phase, I'm going to use the modified SMG. Um, either play one ammo card or draw one card. You may activate loaded on one ammo card and play. Oh, I could play one or draw one. All right, well, then I'm going to put out shock rounds. Um, you may activate one loaded on one ammo card and play. So I'm going to do the thermite rounds. Uh, expatriate deals each non-hero target one projectile damage, then destroy the activated ammo card. So be one damage plus this one, which makes it two. So everyone get... Well, it's just her. She takes two damage. Um, she takes two? Yeah, and then this gets destroyed. Is that 32? Ooh, nice. Not the dropping part. Yeah. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Uh, and then draw. And turn. Setback. Start phase. Each hero target in this player area gains one health. But sadly, <laughs> he can't regain health. All right, uh, play phase. So this might seem a little stupid, but I'm going to play Reckless Rush, which is an unlucky card. But after this card is played, setback deals one target for melee damage, but for her it'll be five. Oh, nice. One, two, three, four, five. So she's at 27 now. But on my next start phase, the villain target with the highest hit points deals setback three melee damage. Power. So I could activate his power or this power. I would get two unlucky cards, but I could destroy one hero ongoing card, which could either be this one or this one or that one. That one might be nice because three damage coming back at you, but you're discovering two unlucky, cards. unlucky. So it could be even worse. I think I'm gonna. Can you? This is why I hate setback. You could not do it. And yeah, I'm just gonna cards. skip. I'm gonna yeah. skip his. I think it's. I think I have to get both things to get the two cards. The wording on this card's weird, but I think I know how it works. So I'm gonna play um, full throttle. Sorry, start yeah. phase, discos, play phase, full oh, yeah. throttle. Uh, Mister Fixer deals one target, one melee damage. You may play a style card from your style card or a tool card, and then it just repeats it. Mister Fixer mm -hmm. deals one target, so it just does it twice. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I'm going to deal her two damage total. Oh, because of your thing? Oh, I guess. Because, like, I'm doing it twice to her. So then four yeah, damage. Yeah. Four damage total. One, two, three, four. And then you can play a style card and or a tool card. I'm playing a style card and a tool card. So the order might matter because okay. if, if it increases damage, then she would take more for the second Oh, hit. I see. It doesn't. Okay. It doesn't matter. 
Where, so this one is after this card is played, destroy all their style cards. No other style, no cards. style cards. Um, after one of your cards is destroyed, Mr. Fix deals one target, one melee damage, and then reaction, discover one item card. Um, what is the reaction for? When you take damage. Oh, reaction to mm -hmm. taking damage. Okay. Um, and then the other one is um, start phase, enter, or sorry, either draw one card or collect one style card. Okay. And then end phase, you may discard one card if you do collect one item card. Right. So uh, you could do one now if you wanted to. His end phase ability. So you would draw first, then do your end phase. Okay. But I'm going to do my power phase first. Next. Oh, so yeah, that's right. That was just a card. Yeah. yeah. So then he's going to do um, three damage to her. Uh, her. Yep. Yeah. 20. So you were getting there. And I may collect one tool card so I can look through. Yeah, collect, collect is, is right. Search your deck for the indicated number of cards and then put them in hand. I think he is like their daredevil. You think so? Because like he takes damage, but then also regenerates yeah. damage. Uh, not daredevil. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, you know. What I'm about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, and then end phase. Stop being such an asshole, Marty. I'm <laughs> such a dick. Um, I'm not going to use his end phase thing. Okay. So he's done. Night mist. Um, Working on even my night fucking mist. look at her cards. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on. End phase. Oh. Destroy one target in this play area with three or fewer hut points, which there are no targets because he can't be destroyed from that shit. He doesn't have three or fewer oh, yeah, hut yeah, points yeah. either. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then move this card to the play area with the target with the lowest hit points. So it's probably still him. He has 12. Oh, I also have plus one damage dealt by targets in this play area. So she would have taken two more damage. Yeah. Okay, so she has no start phase. Okay. Um, my play is going to be a relic um, amulet of Elder God plus one of the magic-ish and whenever Night Mist would, deal, would be dealt infernal damage you may bury one card from your hand. If you do, you may redirect that damage. That's nice with the other card. Mm -hmm. If I did myself and that could redirect to her. Okay, so that's my play my power phase i'm going to discard a card this card to play which one was i going to play? oh do we want to destroy ongoing cards do we have ongoing cards that should be if killed? i could get rid of so the problem with this one is that whenever an ongoing card in this player would be destroyed prevent that destruction and put one token on this card so if we could get rid of a relic, that would be great because he can't heal. So we have to get rid of the relic first and then. But then it would try. So, OK, I but can. We can get rid of. So he he can't heal. We can get rid of that one. Also, he's going to take extra plus can, damage. I could do this. So I can do um, discard the top card of my deck and then uh, destroy. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can destroy eleven ongoing cards. Oh, nice. So like. Okay. Can I, I it. can it say yeah. like this gets destroyed, then that gets destroyed, then I'm gonna try to destroy it again? Oh fuck! It's a, it's at the end phase when this happens though. <laughs> so here, just try and destroy it twice, which okay. will put two tokens on there, and then later on we can get rid of it. But mm -hmm. um, outside of that, I can get rid of this ongoing. You can and get rid this of ongoing. all your bad ones too. Uh, I can't get rid of. It. Oh wait, fuck! I can't because what? They just keep adding up. What do you mean? These, this thing only goes away at the end phase. So, like, whenever it would be destroyed, prevent that and put one on here. When this card is destroyed, bury one hero ongoing, one blah, blah, blah. End phase, if there are two or more tokens on this, destroy this card. Oh. It's so like, no matter what, it, it's So, should I everything. not do that? Because I have yeah, another... Yeah, I would say you play I, something different. Okay, I have another card that would do more damage to her. I'm going to say, if, it's if it can do damage to her, that's what we should focus on. Okay. She only has 18 health. So, I already discarded for the other one. Mm -hmm. Um... Night Mist deals one target, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you add that plus one? Eleven points of damage. So she goes down to seven health. <laughs> okay. Night Mist may, may deal herself um, that much infernal damage if Night Mist takes damage in this way. Play the top part of your trash. Uh, okay, I'm going to do that. So then sh I'm going to... Take eleven damage. I'm going to take eleven damage, mm -hmm. but then... 
Whenever Night Mist would deal be dealt infernal damage, you may bury one card from your hand. So bury one card from my hand. How much health is you? Seven. Seven. Um, and you may redirect that damage. So redirect yeah. eleven damage to her. Hell right. yeah. Let me just make sure there's nothing we missed on here. Bam. Eleven damage gets dealt, and, and she, she is destroyed. She did, and we win. Finally, Finally thoughts. thoughts. So, how do you feel about this? Is your first time playing Sentinel? It is complicated as balls. Yes, there's like so much upkeep. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't think that took away from the pleasure of playing it for me. Right. And I think the reason for that is because like I really liked Night Mist. Yeah. Like. Mr. Fixer was cool, but like mm -hmm. Night Mist was like she, really cool. she was my shit. Mm -hmm. So I feel like because I played as her, I'm at like I'm at like a four point five. Yeah. Honestly, even though there was so much upkeep, and I know you were doing nothing, upkeep, so that <laughs> that also could be affecting my score too. Um, well, no, that means that next time we play, you're going to do, do half upkeep. Of the upkeep. Yep, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, four point five, like close to a five. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know, I would have to play it again to give it like a solid five because it's not like as I didn't have as much fun as like we did with the newspaper fit to print. game. Yeah, mm -hmm. fit to print. But I I love the versatility. It feels like everyone can do like Something specific different. things, mm -hmm. like different things, which is super cool. So yeah, four point five for me. So Real I fun. I'm very vocal on this channel about how much I love Sentinels. Um, and to give you some information, so they they had the original Sentinels game card game. They came out like years ago. Um, they had a whole bunch of expansions for them and then they did like a digital one. They even have another board game that's coming out that's like we actually play the heroes and we're mm -hmm. moving through the city to try and save it that I backed as that's well. Cool. Um, and then this is the definitive edition where they took all of the years that they've like done corrections and stuff and then they made it like this is the right way to play the game. Okay. So this is like years of them fixing problems. So I'm very vocal about how good these are. Playing this, even though I hate <laughs> setback, much like how Mark said, like the, the characters can give you make or break the game for you. Mm -hmm. I hate setback. But outside of that, I really liked Expatriate because much like um, the character in the other one who's like Batman, like I love things where you get items and that's mm -hmm. your thing. So like for her, it was guns and the guns and the ammo could like really work well together. I loved her play style of being able to buff her up with all the spells and then do like really strong damage yep. and even damage herself, but then redirect it like it's really cool. This is an easy five for me just because I it does what it set out it sets out to do. Yep. It made us feel like we were losing for so long. And this is the easy one. Yep. But look, none of oh, us got below ten. That's true. And like it kept just shitting on mm -hmm. us, but then like yeah. None like of us said, got below none ten. Of us got 10. Yeah. Uh we had ways to heal. So like this is a good way to start because you get that feeling of I have to fight so much, how can the hell can we win? Yeah. She has seventy hit points, we haven't done anything to her. Yeah, I was and like I went. was panicked, man. I was like, Oh fuck, we're gonna lose in like three turns. Mm -hmm. But then no, yeah, we, we should And on there her. is something because like so like, you know, there's other there's like three other heroes yeah. and like four other or six other bosses. The way that it works is some heroes, all heroes can fight anybody. Some heroes fight other heroes, be uh, villains better. Okay. And it's usually their their pairs. So like setback was good against her because he could destroy unlucky cards. Yeah. Regardless of if they were hero or villain. So that was a good thing. I know we messed up a couple of times on dealing ourselves damage on her other side, but which I think I mean every time. Um, so he might've had lower health. He might've got below 10. Yeah. But outside of that, the game changes every time you play and then if you add in those events and then also there is a advanced mode that you play okay where they have another ability on there so they have all this plus this so easy 10 because the game makes you feel like you're in a comic book yep makes you feel like you're a comic book hero fighting team at a random ass location fighting this enemy and their minions and then whatever else happens in the spooky mansion that you're in yep <laughs> so yeah, it's real fun. Um, I would love to play more of this with you because yeah. I got Monty to play this once and then she was like, oh, because <laughs> I played I played the other one by myself yeah. and then went back through and played it with the events and shit. So if we could do that, I, I'd I would be super down to play this. I think changing characters, though. Yeah, changing characters. My you're you not, also you're not getting nine, well, nine, nine misses mine forever. No, you can definitely <laughs> lock in. People. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm all about that, too. Um, I think it would be uh, I think it would put it to that five for me if there was another player mm -hmm. with 
like oh, controlling Kismet. Yeah, yeah, like we control our characters, and there's another player controlling. Like I like that you can do it without that player, but I mm -hmm. feel like it'd be so much easier. And they would catch us on like things that we missed. Yeah. Like they would catch if they're us only on. handling that, they could be like, wait, no, I get to deal damage. Yeah, to you. yeah. Actually, you're dealing more damage X, Y, and Z. And yeah. the so as you talked about the upkeep, and I'm you know I give it a five with the understanding that there is a lot of upkeep in yep. this game. And we got lucky because the base game, which we could have used these for like the other things, but like, you know, plus one damage dealt by this target. Okay. And then, you know, minus one damage dealt by this target. Like these are things that you would have to put on there yeah. to be able to track everything and then remember everything that's happening. And then like in the other, in the base game, which what I recommend we do, because we already started this one, we played through this then we can go to the base game and play through that yeah because you can use the heroes in this in the base one oh, obviously cool. like he setbacks ability would like if we were going to use them would only be good for him because there's no one in the other one that gives you unlucky or lucky cards okay but he still works in there because he is himself unlucky yeah cards. so like everyone is universal plus with this one we got a, uh alternate cards for the first one plus the holograph shit so like there's just so much you can do <laughs> um so anyway thank you all for watching Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and check down below for a way that you can support us on Patreon or YouTube membership, and I highly recommend you play Sentinels of the Multiverse. Bye. Bye.